welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different because I am taking part in Zach Perna's 12 week challenge. Now, if you don't know who Zach Perna is, he is a fitness influencer from Australia and he's really cool and he's really good looking. Follow him on Instagram and I've been seeing him post about his 12 week challenge for quite a few weeks now. And it was quite a last minute impulsive decision. Going through, I'd seen loads of stories about it and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna have a bit of a read. If you guys are from England too, you'll know that we are in a lockdown and obviously there isn't you know a crazy amount we can do so why not take part in a challenge oh by the way the 12 week challenge is a fitness challenge when you join it you get a personalized meal plan and a personalized workout plan you take a before picture at the start and then you compare it with your after picture at the end and because it is a challenge there are prizes that you can win which is cool so i signed up for it and i asked him is it all right if i vlog the experience and he said yes and then i couldn't not sign up and not vlog it. This vlog is a little bit late though because I've just been really putting it off and I don't know why. So I'm on week two now. I started on the 12th of January. I was supposed to like start vlogging from the start but I've had a few breakdowns already. I think I did put a bit of pressure on myself like in my head just thinking that I would vlog it too because I think the challenge itself is quite intense. Vlogging it on top Obviously for me, I'm a little stress head anyway. So that was making it a bit more stressful before I'd even started. My three main goals that I want from taking part in this challenge. Firstly, and for me, I think might be the most important is to build a healthier relationship with food. For the longest time, I haven't had a healthy relationship with food and I just don't want to do that anymore. And this was before I even knew about the challenge. I really did say to myself that this year, I really, really wanted to work on my relationship with food and I really want to make it good. And I don't want to be scared of eating, basically. I just want to enjoy food and enjoy life with it one of my main things is to not be like scared of food and to take the meal plan and just go for it and not be scared of it and yeah not be scared of maybe putting a bit of weight on or anything like that my second goal is to be a cutie with a big booty and when you sign up there's like a whole bit that you have to fill in height weight everything you have to fill it in and then your goals for the fitness bit i'm pretty sure that i picked build muscle because there wasn't a little option in the drop down box that said being a cutie with a big booty. Now I've been going to the gym for years. I've just kind of gone and I've done what I thought would be best. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I do know what's best. I think I have been not very sensible with my training. But we're gonna turn it around because Zach Perner is telling me how I'm working out now. Also wanted to really improve my fitness and have a different look on how i was training because for me it's been like a lot of just like cardio weightlifting too but all my friends are probably <laughs> sat here watching this like all she ever does is cardio leg day and and abs which i'm not gonna lie that's pretty much all i have been doing no upper body nothing nothing my upper body is so not strong which i have realized by obviously like doing a couple of weeks of this program because when there's upper body exercises i struggle so much like my arms will literally be like shaking because they are not strong i mean look at them look at them um there is no, there's no strength here i mean like a tiny bit but i think it's cool because i'm training something new that i've never trained before my third goal is pretty simple i just want to start the year off in like the best way that i can wake up every day have something to do and look forward to it like i just want to put my mind to something and complete it and i think the reward there completing it is actually even enough for me. Putting my whole heart and my mind towards something. Obviously I'm doing YouTube as well, which I absolutely love but this as well. And obviously putting those two together and if I actually managed to do it like the whole 12 weeks, I think I would be so proud of myself. I think it would be the best way for me to start this year off, obviously after quite a difficult 2020. I do wanna make 2021 like so, so good and yeah and just work like the hardest that i can i think i possibly might have picked like the worst day for me to film because i believe it's one of the arm days and yeah you'll be watching me nearly in tears also zach if you're watching or if he's watching this bit i'm a bit scared <laughs> where 
is the option on my meal plan for tea and biscuits because I can't see it. Where are my tea and biscuits? The thing that I was really concerned about was the before and after because obviously because we're in a lockdown and gyms are closed and I don't have a gym at home and I don't have any equipment at home either. I was like how big and obvious is the difference really going to be? between now and in 12 weeks time it's highly likely that it probably won't be that different because obviously it's just like body weight exercises that I'm doing compared to being able to use weights at the gym and I was like stressing myself out about the after picture not being like crazy amazing or something and is that going to make me feel like I haven't achieved what I wanted to achieve but we we got over that pretty quick because I'm doing what I can with what I do have as long as I try my hardest and I have a good time doing it and I eat lots of good food and I learn some new exercises and make some good videos just have a good time then that 12 weeks will be worth it and we're like learning things for every day we're making every day better and then it doesn't really matter what the picture looks like after 12 weeks hi everyone i've just come out to do a food shop now for like the next week and um i've got my list with me quite a long list but i'm ready today is day three for me i've still got to do my workout and it's a lower body workout today which i was excited for but now i'm a bit nervous because i'm feeling a bit tired and i just know that it's gonna absolutely kill me so i've just done my food shop and this is everything that i've got Zach, it's a workout literally getting all this food made. I wasn't expecting to take part in this challenge and I've just seen something that's cracked me up and I wanted to show you guys too. This is my collection of Weetabix, which is not part of my meal plan for the next 12 weeks. So these babies are going to have to wait. I'm sorry Weetabix, but I eat bagels now. I will be hiding under this top until, you know, it goes down or I feel a bit more confident in myself to be able to just have it out and not care. First, I was like, I'm not going to show it. But for anyone else that's out there that, you know, might experience bloating or similar, I experience it too and it's not that nice, but it's okay. I feel like it doesn't look that terrible on camera. It's like super hard as well. We're hiding this top. That's okay. Let's start the workout. It is... What day is it? Today? What day... The workout we're doing today is a push workout. Not my favourite day, but we're going to do it. If I start crying, you guys know what happened. The workout is starting with negative push-ups. And I can't do a push-up. I can't do it. I'm going to show you how, how I do a push-up. And you're all going to laugh at me. But it's okay because I won't be able to hear you. And that's the best that I can do. For <laughs> a push up, I know, and it is so bad. Like, no one would believe me if I told them that I go to the gym because I can't even do a push up. I have to do the push ups where you put your knees on the floor, and I feel like it still counts. My knees are hurting on this floor, actually. I've just realised that my knees are really hurting on this floor, so we're gonna go downstairs. So I have just completed my workout and I found it really hard. I might have to email him and ask if I could have like the beginner upper body stuff because I find it really hard. Like my arms just don't have any strength. Like they have more strength than they had last week when I did it for the first time. When I know that I haven't done like the set, like how it was supposed to be, I just feel a bit like about it even though I, I actually couldn't do it like without putting my knees down etc etc so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna keep that footage in I'll probably only put a little bit in because I know I didn't really do it that well I also want to like show you how it is and like I can't do it properly maybe in a few weeks time I'll be able to bosh it and then I'll look back at this and be like <laughs> one idiot 
but but yeah i'm gonna go um, i can't even hold my camera up because my arm is hurting um i need to shower and then i'll see you and i'm gonna make some dinner i'm just getting ready for dinner now and for dinner today i'm making the white fish brown rice and avocado i haven't actually tried this one before which is so silly of me why am i trying the one that i haven't tried before to film a lot of the times i pick what I'm having to eat based on what ingredients I still have left around because I, I don't want to waste anything. And I've got these cod fillets, but they're saying to bake it in the oven and on the recipe it's saying to heat in a fry pan. And now I don't know what to do. The instructions say heat a fry pan with oil and cook fish until no longer pink, but it isn't pink. So I'll back to you on that. I might ask my mum for some help. I have decided that I'm going to bake it in the oven. Please don't fight me, Zach, but that's what it said on the packaging, so that's what I feel like I have to do. I'm not a good cook, no idea what I'm doing, but I'm not going to lie. I am enjoying putting more effort into my meals and actually like having to cook things, because I feel like I'm learning a lot. And in true Zach Perna style, we will be adding a pinch of salt. Do you even put salt on cod? Probably quite salty anyway, isn't it? Do you put pepper on cod? Because I kind of want to put pepper on it. I have to Google it. Don't say anything. What can I season cod with? Yeah, you can lightly season it with salt and pepper. So that is what I'm doing. See me? I'm a chef. So this is what I've created. And there's supposed to be avocado in it too. But... I got these avocados and they said ripe and ready on them. It's not ripe and ready and it's annoying me, but it's alright, we'll get over it. I'm just gonna eat my dinner whilst watching, you guessed it, how to get away with murder. I am now on season five and I really, really, really enjoyed the first two seasons, but then I felt like it got a bit slow in season three and season four. Now I'm on season five. It still has isn't having the same effect as season one and season two, but I'm gonna carry on. It's still we're still good. Oh, let me try this cod, actually. Yeah, that's pain. And I did that. I'm not even halfway through and I'm struggling. Like, I'm already full. And this happens every time. But I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm not gonna make games if I don't eat this. So I need to eat this so I can make the games. So there is a little bit of rice left, but I'm done. I can't have any more. We'll try again tomorrow. I just think that it doesn't have to be a fitness challenge or anything like that, but I think three months is a good time to like start something that you might have wanted to start for a long time. If you needed a sign or something to start that thing that you're thinking about, then I think let this be the sign and you start whatever it is that you want. And in three months time, let's see the difference that we can make. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, um, please leave it a little like and you can subscribe if you're new. I will be making my usual videos at the same time. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.